Coming up on Press This, we're looking at WordPress galleries. And Vera takes on Max Galleria. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. I always do like this. I always do this yeah. every time I start the I show. I It's great. Uh, what is the show all about? It's WordPress plugins, themes, and concepts, head-to-head. -head. We're going to review things and let you know what our best choice is or something like that. You got it. Almost 4,000 fans now. It's freaking amazing. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, thank you, everybody, for doing this stuff uh, or tuning in and subscribing, leaving comments uh, today. Oh, and also brought to you by Slocum Themes. Slocum themes. Uh, wonderful new theme out called Journal Light, uh, uh, which you can get over at WordPress.org. Then get the Pro version, Journal Pro. Great mm -hmm. for blogging, photo yep. blogging, anything like that. Kind of yep. goes well with sort of our whole uh, publishing theme. So go check that out. Speaking of photos and <laughs> such... Let's, yeah, let's, what are we talking about today, Matt? We're talking about gallery plugins. So a lot of you guys write in, you guys like um, sort of the photo stuff, uh, and you want to know what the best way to make a gallery is. Well, the answer is it's built into WordPress. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> there is a gallery feature built into WordPress when you go to the media library to create a gallery. But there are other, a little bit more visual and eloquent ways to do that. And we're looking at two today. Uh, we're looking at Envira Gallery, and we're looking at Max Gallery. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, go take it away. Yeah, so, um, so I, I guess we should we should preface this by there is one major one out there that gets a lot of attention. It's mm -hmm. called Next Gen Gallery. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of been I don't want to say it's been sort of forgotten about or debunked, but it's it doesn't get the love that it's supposed to get it. Mm -hmm. And it used to have a different owner, and then somebody mm -hmm. took it over, and it was supposed to get a little bit better, but it really didn't. Yeah. Uh, and it's sort of a bear to work with. It doesn't really work well with WordPress. Yeah. So a lot of folks have been saying, how can we solve this issue? And Envira and uh, Max Galleries uh, is just going to help you do that. Yes. Um, let's start with Max. And this is Max from Max Buttons, and he does a whole bunch of other stuff. Yep. Uh, just sent this uh, plug to us today. It's a version two. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the latest version. Um, and it's sort of going head to head uh, with next gen. Yes. This, the way what I'm assuming he's built this is this is going to be what you're going to replace next gen with. So head to head, in fact, that there's a next gen importer That's built right. right into the plugin. Right. So there will be an out of the gate an option if you have the next gen plugin installed to import stuff from next gen um, over to galleries. And I always really appreciate when companies do this because we've seen this before too. We've seen this with SEO settings on SEO plugins and different other plugins where they know that you are you might be coming from the competition. I mean, WordPress does this. You can import content from other, other sites like Tumblr, things like that. So it's really cool to see that here. Yeah. Um you know, let's talk about from from installing the plugin mm -hmm. and then actually publishing a, a gallery. Mm -hmm. It's very, very much similar to the way Next Gen sort of already has that look and feel. It's a mm -hmm. list uh, of images. You've got sort of the details, the meta information. Mm -hmm. uh, you can rearrange things. Uh, and I know we just he just he just launched it, and it works right. It works mm -hmm. well. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. It gives you the short code, so you can kind of spit it out onto a yep. page or a post mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, so uh, you know. It does what it's supposed to do. It creates mm -hmm. a gallery. You get some different options yep. to create different grids. Uh, output it in a grid. Output it in right. uh, circles, um, and you can kind of adjust that stuff. The only thing I didn't really care for was all of these options are sort of riding in the sidebar mm -hmm. of the back end, right. which you typically see for like publish posts and right. and categories. So it seems just very very uh, squished, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, and I guess you can move everything uh, can. to the center. Uh, but just out of the box, you know, if you're like yeah. me, it's like a kid on Christmas Day. Like yeah. you get the present, you rip it open, <laughs> and you're like, I just want to start playing. And then you're missing pieces, yeah. you know, the batteries. Oh, where's this? Where's that? It, right. It's in the sidebar, crunched down, minimized right. everything, so you right. can't tell what you can do with it. Yeah. So, I mean, out of the box, uh, I'd like a little bit more um, gooiness, right? right? A little bit, little bit better, right. uh, a little bit smoother transition to right. launching it because it does have a ton. Of, he has a ton of options. Yeah. And I can see people basically writing in to him and saying, oh, why doesn't it do this? And then he says, it does. Look on the right. And then sure enough, there it is. So yeah. play around with it. Have fun with it when you download it. Yeah. Uh, but I do like the fact that you can go in, you can drop in your own CSS. Mm -hmm. um, you can do, like I said, the different layouts, the different sizes. Mm -hmm. um, if you're doing grids, you can adjust how many you want um, mm -hmm. to output, how many rows you want to output, that kind of right. thing. Um, so he's definitely giving you a lot of uh, access to the output. Um, and, you know, naturally with that, when you have all that stuff, you're just going to have a ton of options. Right. It's, just, it's just the way it is, right? Yep. Um, so, but works well, works right out of the box. Um, 
you know, it's definitely a great way if you're saying, I need to transition from next gen and I'm giving this to a client that's already using next gen mm -hmm. and you don't really want to rock the boat. Yeah. You go with this, right? right? right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I, I know you what you're know saying. Exactly. Yeah. Like, where's all my settings? Why doesn't it look the same? Right. This is a great choice. Flip Let's move side. on. We're, we're going to talk about side. Invera. Yeah. This is totally different. Yep. Uh, experience. So yep. if you're, if you're a Tom, uh, Thomas Griffin fan, uh, yeah. his user interface, very elegant, mm -hmm. very organized, yep. uh, and very much the same as his slider plugin soliloquy. Yes. Yes. Um, you almost get the feel like you're working with the same piece of technology. Right. Right. Uh, your thoughts on this? Uh, my thoughts on Invera, I mean, it's one we use the most, I believe, with our clients at this point, because um, mm -hmm. it is a really simple, really effective way to do things. Uh, it tabulates everything in the menu, just like you were mentioning, um, like Soliloquy does, where you have these tabs and you have, you know, you put your images in, then there's an option, there's a tab to configure it, there's a tab to uh, set it if it's going to be in a light box and all this kind of fun stuff there with Invera Gallery, which is really, really cool. So they have a ton of options there, but it does it in a way that is visual, that you can tell what you're doing. Um, and it kind of puts everything smartly in the right place. Yeah. Um, you know, I do, like I said, like that whole out of the box feeling of, you know, where everything is. Right. Um, this plugin uh, sort of has it. Now yeah. he has a pro version, uh, which is going to give you some more options. So the light version doesn't have as many options, right. therefore less chance for you to get confused. Um, yeah. But the fact is it's sort of all there. Yeah. And you, you kind of know where it's going. Um, the other thing I kind of like too is, the uh, the plugin attaches to post pages and custom mm -hmm. post types, right. which means you can make a gallery while you're on a post, right. uh, versus having to go make a gallery first, right. grab the short code, put it into a post, which is how Max Galleria works, right? right. That's how that works okay. right now. Um, you know, that's a minor thing. Most folks are used to like setting the gallery yeah. first and grabbing yeah. the short code. And again, mm -hmm. you can still do that with Envira or Envira, but um, you know, this is uh, just another little nice feature. I'm actually, I'm actually shocked that that's how Invera works um, because Soliloquy works backwards from that. Correct. With Soliloquy, you have to make the slider inside of the Soliloquy section and then import it over later. Right. But with Invera, which right. is this plugin by the same company, you actually can edit it right within yeah. the post, which that, is interesting. And I'm sure that's some of the feedback that he's received mm -hmm. uh, while he was doing the slider plugin. And yep. maybe he was like, hey, this is going right. to make sense maybe if I do it this way. jump back or something. Um, it does support add-ons. That's what you're getting with the pricing. So it starts at $19, goes up from there, depending on how many licenses you're doing, gives you unlimited updates. And then there's add-ons that are a little bit more um, for professional photographers, people who are really passionate about sharing their photography, uh, full screen slideshows, um, super size add-on, a uh, way to protect your photos so people can't, I, mean, I would assume with like a watermark, so people can't just get to them. Yeah. There is one interesting thing, and, and I haven't dug too deep. Mm -hmm. um, we'd probably have to get the developers in on this mm -hmm. to figure out why. But I did notice that, and maybe it was just the size of the photos, but I think I'm using the same size photos, but the Invera gallery, when it loads on the front end, mm -hmm. it does a funky sort of loading yes. thing. Like it, it floats, right? Yeah. It like you see all the images stack and then it kind of spreads out. I don't know if that's by design, if it's the jQuery, if it's the HTML5, um, if it has to do that because he's maybe caching something. I did notice that Max Gallery loads really snappy. I mean, it just, just loaded. Snaps. Okay. Uh, there was no animation. Um, it didn't feel like it was trying to load images. It felt like it was just boom right there. Um, sure. I can say that when I imported photos into Max Gallery, it took a little bit longer. This was like a half a dozen photos, whereas I feel the Envira Gallery loaded it pretty quick when mm -hmm. I imported it. I mean, these are minor things, right. but I don't know if from under the hood if there's a technical thing, like if you're optimizing a site for speed, something you may want to just check out. Maybe yeah. we can dig deeper into it. Maybe. In a more advanced post or something. Maybe in the article. Ooh, maybe, Dan. Just maybe. Just, I just maybe. created more work for yeah, you. Yeah, there you go. That's all good. <laughs> um, so that's my thing. Like, hey, I think if you're going to go with some, if you're trying to install a, a gallery for a client and they, they're they used to next gen, mm -hmm. you go with Max Gallery and you're like, hey, because this is going to be the closest fit. Yes. Um, if you're looking for something new, um, something with some other different kind of features, then yeah. Invera. Easier to use, I'd say. Yeah. Probably Invera. Yeah, Invera. Um, definitely check that out. They both have their add-ons. <laughs> and uh, they both work great on our capture theme, our capture photography theme. Shameless plug. Um, I do want to bring it up because there is an awesome feature in our uh, Capture Pro where you can actually do a full screen gallery, which is really neat. Um, so this kind of works in tandem. Um, you can add a, you know, add a media file and then click on it and then see the full screen gallery of your photos 
right on the site, which is really cool. Yeah, which is slightly different because right. the technology that we have in Capture actually takes, takes over your entire screen. Right. It is that full screen where your browser right. will tell you right. you are now viewing in, right. full, in full yeah, screen. Right, right, which is uh, really neat. And you can cycle through posts, which mm -hmm. is really cool. Scott did a great job with that. Yes. Uh, questions about galleries, leave them in the comments below. Me we're too. trying to hit 10,000 fans. It's crazy. It's insane, but we're almost yeah. at 4,000. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we think that once we hit 4,000, it'll be sort of that domino effect you where 4,000 will turn into 8,000 pretty quick and yep. then 8,000 to well, 20,000. We shall see. We shall see. We will see you at every WordCamp ever uh, throughout the world. Help us out though. Subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button right over there. Awesome. Thanks everybody. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. See you next time.